Chu Tangkaman's funerary temple, his tomb, and the sarcophagus found in it. Depictions of Pharaoh in the reliefs of Chu Tangkaman's mansion. Part 2. There can be no doubt, however, that Tutankhamun is the king hunting in the desert from a chariot in another scene that can be assembled from several blocks. The pair of his car touches and the text describing the hunt are included in the drawing of the block made by Pris Darvins in the 19th century. The king in his speeding chariot takes aim with his drawn bow at desert game, including according to the inscription, lions as well as varieties of antelope. Apparently this scene included various kinds of desert game, unlike in the decoration of the painted box from Tutankhamun's tomb where the pursuit of lions was relegated to a separate scene. Another block from a hunting scene in the mansion shows a wild bull, felled by one of the king's arrows, lying beneath the cab of the king's speeding chariot. Such tableaus express the ideological role of Pharaoh, subduing the forces of chaos manifest in wild animals. The car touches preserved in scenes of two military campaigns on the walls of the roofed ambulatory formed by the peers in the mansion also leave no doubt that the victorious Pharaoh featured in them is Tutankhamun. There is nothing unconventional about the king's adversaries in these encounters on one side of the courtyard he engages in battle against the traditional foes, to the south, and on the other, he confronts Asiatic adversaries, at home to Egypt's, northeast. In traditional fashion, each series of scenes of warfare concluded with the obligatory presentation of the spoils, including prisoners of war, to a man in gratitude for his vouchsafe ng victory to the king. Some unusual details have tempted Egyptologists to suggest that these scenes could well depict actual events military campaigns undertaken in Tutankhamun's name if not actually led by him on the battlefield. The detailed depictions of foreign prisoners included in the decoration of the tomb, which Hormat built at Sakura, while still serving Tutankhamun faithfully, as Generalissimo are cited in support of the idea that the reign witnessed warfare with the king, at least nominally, engaging southern as well as northern foes. The sequence of scenes of a campaign against Asiatic foes would then illustrate military campaigns alluded to in contemporary or nearly contemporary cuneiform documents. But for now, I remain skeptical, since none of the blocks so far identified as belonging to these scenes in the mansion of Neb bears any remains of an historical text to substantiate the supposition. One of the vignettes, unique down until the present, that has excited comment shows a prisoner suspended in a cage above the deck of a ship. The long, draped robe of the captive sets him apart from the Egyptians and identifies him as a foreigner from Syria or Palestine. Is he a prisoner taken captive in a real campaign being transported back to Egypt, perhaps for ceremonial execution? Another detail shows Egyptian infantrymen marching along, with severed hands skewered on their lances, providing graphic illustration of a gruesome feature of Egyptian warfare, the severing of the hands of the defeated as trophies paraded and presented for a commensurate reward. Four pits containing severed hands, discovered at a palace in the delta at Tel El, Daba and datable towards the end of the Second Intermediate Period or about 1550 BC, corroborate the mention of this practice in texts from the beginning of the New Kingdom. Later, Ramesside war reliefs include piles of penises to the same purpose. One scene from the walls of the mansion shows a soldier stooping to chop off the hand of a dead or dying Nubian lying under the wheels of Pharaoh's chariot, and the same deed is included in a battlefield scene on the painted box from Tutankhamun's tomb. Tut